Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining us. As you know, we're doing a little shorter clips. Now we're not going to do the whole message that's given in class. So I'm going to shrink it down uh, so you can still get the, uh, the main ideas of what we talked about. So as you know, we've been on the assurance of salvation topic. And today we talked about how do you know for sure that you're saved? What signs do you look for in yourself? Last week we talked about what are some false ways you can be, uh, what are some false ways you can think you're really saved? But here, how do you know for certain that your name is written in the book of life, that you really are saved? So let me ask you a question. If, if you were going to rate yourself between 1 to 10, how confident are you that if you died today, you would spend the rest of eternity with Jesus? That you would spend the rest of eternity with Him? How confident are you between 1 and 10? So I'm hoping that as we go through this, you start, if you start low, you start moving up closer to the 10, because really there is no in-between for a Christian. It's either yes or no. Uh, the Bible is very clear about that, that you can know that you're saved. And actually that's God's intention. So I want to give you three ways that you can know to look for in yourself some signs that you are saved. The first one is that, do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe in Jesus? I know it sounds cliche, like, oh, I hear that all the time. Yeah, of course I believe. But uh, let me ask you more specifically, do you believe just that, you know, He existed? Do you believe who He is? Oh, yeah, I believe He's the Son of God. I've heard that a lot. Or do you believe that He is your personal Savior? Do you believe that He rose, He died and rose again to save you? And have you put all of your trust in Him? That He's done it for you, that He's paid it. I think there's a big difference between believing about Him and believing in Him. And that's really the goal. And that really distinguishes a true believer from someone who's just a fan of Jesus. Uh, there's, this verse in 1 John 5.13 says, 5.11-13 to 13 actually, And this is the testimony that God gave us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Who, do, whoever does not have the Son does, of God does not have life. And verse 13, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. So I'm writing these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you can know you have eternal life. And there's a lot more in the letter that Paul, uh, or sorry, that John speaks of to help us with our confidence in Christ. But it all comes back to your faith. John 3.16 For God sent His only Son into the world for whoever would believe in Him should not perish but might be saved. So believing in Him truly is a way to have true salvation. Is it is your faith just a feeling or is it a fact? Do you believe Jesus really did exist or is it just a feeling? That distinguishes everything. So that's one number one. Number two is do you have the Holy Spirit? And like I said in class, I always thought that, well, I never done a miracle. I've never, you know, when I was praying, I never levitated or I never uh, you know, spoken tongues or did any of that. I don't even know if I'm saved, but you know what? The Bible talks more practical ways. Uh, not that it, we can't do any of that, but more practically that you can see, even as a young believer, of ways that you do have the Holy Spirit. Um, and the first one is, do you have the Holy Spirit? Ephesians 1, 13 to 14. I won't read the whole thing for you, but pretty much it says that the Holy Spirit is our guarantee it's our guarantee. It's our seal. That's how God proves to you that, yes, I am, you are saved. Yes, you are. And that's through the Holy Spirit. So how do you know if you have the Holy Spirit? Here's a couple ways to know if you have the Holy Spirit. First one is in Titus 3.5. But pretty much it, it's saying that, and you've been washed by the regeneration of the Holy Spirit. And that word regeneration is rebirth, renewal. And it's pretty much saying, have you had a change in your life? The Holy Spirit is a rebirth. It renews you. Like uh, jo Jesus said to John, um, you need to be born again. And that's what the Holy Spirit does. It, you, you get born again. You turn into a new person. You're a change. So 
Do you recognize any changes in your life? A second way to know if you have the Holy Spirit is, do you have any conviction for sin? Do you hate sin now? Is there things you used to do in your life that you can't do anymore or you struggle to do? Maybe you still sin, which we all do, but are you fighting against it now and before you weren't? That's a sign the Holy Spirit is in your life. You're being convicted, and you can find that in John 16, 8, that the Holy Spirit convicts of sin. And also that there's power in the Holy Spirit to overcome that sin. And that's found in 2 Timothy 1.7. The Holy Spirit brings power. So we've talked about, do you believe in Jesus? Do you have the Holy Spirit? And lastly, a way to know if, you have, um, the whole, if you're truly saved is, do you love others? Because that's a big way. In 1 John 3.14 and 1 John 4.7-8, it talks about that. About God is love. And if you claim to be a Christian, if you claim to be a believer, you need to love the brothers. You need to love other, other people because God is love. So if you're wondering, oh, I don't know if I'm a Christian. Well, do you have any love in you for other people? And more so Christ's love. And that's to prefer, put other people before yourself, to want to obey God. So in all of that, do you believe in Jesus? Do you have the Holy Spirit where there's some ways to know that? And do you love others? And I think lastly, to leave you with is not really a point. Does, do you have any affection for Jesus? I think a lot of people may claim to believe or may say, but you know, do, is your heart drawn to him? And that says a lot because that's really what God came to do. He says, I will give in, in the Old Testament, it talks about future times. I will give them a new heart. And I will take the heart of stone out and put a heart of flesh in them. Is God in your heart moving in you? So I hope that you do see some signs of salvation in you. And if you don't, that Jesus is only a prayer away. And all you have to do is accept him into your life and begin to walk, uh, walk in that new life. Repent of your sins. And trust in Jesus. Hey, you're in. Salvation is yours. It can happen in a second. And you know what? God's been waiting. So I hope you've been journeying with us this whole time and uh, continue with us on for the next series. Uh, but thank you for spending time with us.